G'day, how you going? I'm Ian Aplis, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my video channel here on YouTube. Today I'm going to do like a Jaffa coloured sunrise or a sunset, whichever way you want to look at it. And I'll get some sizes on the board there for you. And there's not very many colours in here at all, but they're going up the screen now. All right, and this is going to be quite a simple painting for you beginners to do, but something when it's done and it's on the wall, it's going to be like, wow, I like that. It's good. That's what sort of painting it's going to be, one of those ones. All right, so I've already got me canvas masked up where the horizon line is, so I don't get anything in any areas that I don't want it to be. So come on over here and let's get right into this little exercise. Now this one's a little bit different. It's the same white student paint that I got, the craft paint, but this one's yellow, all right? Big cheap craft paint there, but it's yellow. So instead of using white, ooh, I'm just gonna use a bit of yellow. Okay, I don't need too much because it's only half of the sky area. And I'll also put some retarder in there. Not too much either. That'll do it. Now, who's asking what retarder is? I'll tell you. It slows down the drying time of your acrylic paints. And the way I teach you to paint, you can also blend some wickedly wicked skies like they do in oil paintings. So we'll just get this mapped onto the sky. But like I said, I only want it about here because it's a Jaffa colour sunset or sunrise. So this is instead of me white, I'm using this colour here because we're going to have some red, gold, orange. Um, look at that up there like that, just like that. Now I'm going to stroke it left and right nice and neatly. There we go. Now I've wiped that brush and I've got some red gold slash orange. I've got some Indian yellow and I've got some burnt umber. So I want to grab this colour now and pretty much paint that yellow with this. But instead of using the white, I use the yellow because if I used white, this will tint up too much. So here we go. We're just going to get this over there where I feel it needs to look gratingly great. Look at that. Pretty easy. Nice lineal strokes across the canvas there. Beautiful, love that. I was gonna go and blend, I think I like that the way that looks. Now I'll turn the brush sideways and stroke that that way. I love all those lines going across it. They look good. Now I just washed my putter on a brush. I gave it a severe flogging and I'm gonna pick up the Indian yellow now and just get this where I feel I need it within the sky. So I want some of it banning across here. Look at that. Beautiful. It's rich yellow than what that craft yellow was that we put on there. And I'm going to just pretty much replace that with this just so I can get some beautiful accents of this in the sky. I'll get a bit more. Oh yeah. Okay, I've given it another wash. Now I'm picking up the burnt umber here, just on the tip of the brush. And I want to get some light colours of this just coming through there. I want to bring it in. I don't want to come here and hit the canvas and come that way because I'll get a big start stop mark on there. See how that's burning into that colour. That's what I like. So I'm just going to look for that. There we go. Nice and straight. And we'll probably get some along here. Oh yeah, look at that. And a little bit there just to iron out the unevenness of it all. Good. And maybe there, I want to burn a bit from here as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I love it. Love it. Try and keep it straight in. Right into the middle of the painting there. And just the slightest down here as well. That's it, don't go too deep into it at the bottom. Now, I'm 
grabbing more of that and I'm going to paint the top half of the sky just with this paint here. Now bear in mind this canvas is very dry, look at it, it doesn't move across the canvas like it does when I have that primer colour under there, the white, or in this case the yellow, which it was. So I've just dampened my brush a little bit more. I want to bring that to our yellow colour, or slash orangey colour, and then we can gently map, blend and merge those two colours together. I don't know why I said map, because I'm mapping the paint in now, so it's probably what made me say that word. All right, so we've got that there. I'm just going to use this brush and get some of it bleeding onto that retarded paint down there, just like that. Beautiful. There we go. Down over here. Now I'm going to get some more of that dark. I want this dark here. You can even put a touch of black in this if you don't think it's dark enough. So now I'm going to get rid of that hard line there, using the brush to make, there we go, that's it. All right, I'm grabbing the burned umber again. There is a little bit of white on the palette there, so I'm going to incorporate some of that just so it's a tinted up value of that paint colour there. There we go. And we want some cloud coming over here. So I'm going to try and create the top, get this right on there, create the top nice and fluffy. Before I do that, I want to grab a pouncer and make our sun. So I've just dampened the pouncer a little bit and I'm just picking up pure white, just pure white onto that pouncer. Because I need this on there before I put the clouds in front of it. So where's my horizon line? Right there. So I want this about there. We'll go about here. How's that? Beautiful. That's it. Nice and white. Now back with this colour here. I want to get that right there like that, making a cloud. Picking up some white, and I want to crisp the top of that as well, just like so. Just so I've got something to blend. And I want to get a reasonably sized blending brush, just so as I can blend that white into that cloud there, that pillowy, chocolatey, Jaffa coloured cloud. Orange and chocolate makes Jaffa. There we go, look at that. If we disturb too much of that sun, we can always um, patch it up. Now I'm grabbing some more white and some of this um, red gold there. See here? Just to transform the front of this cloud in the sun there, because the sun's changed the colour of it. There we go. And we can probably put a bit more white into that. Something underneath this one here, just to add another element of loveliness in our sky. Give it a bit of a tail, there we go. I've wiped my blending brush. Um, and I want to get the bottom of this and kind of rub, tease and pull it down from there. Okay. Pull it long. There we go. I'm going to try and get that transition of the two a bit better as well. There we go. Now I'm cleaning that brush and I'm grabbing some more white, just pure white this time. And we'll give ourselves some clouds here. We can keep these nice and straight, but we're going to scratch it into that orange just like that. 
and kind of bring it out like that keep them level if you can pick up some more stamp that on and then pull that level there we go pick up some more practice these procedures if you've never done them before and you want to do them and you're excited about doing them practice them okay nice and level now we can come along here Boom. so I want some yumminess there yeah we're getting probably a bit here not down the bottom just mainly there I suppose let's put just something here bit of a cloud whisper in there as well I'll just use this actual brush to blend it into the sky come on there we go there we go okay done that now I'll just I've got a separate bit of masking tape here from the horizon line so I still want to leave this tape here though because I don't want to get my water impossible to paint. So I've dried that area of the painting. I've just put a bit of tape there so I can grab this craft paint and just paint without having to be too careful up there. So I want to prime in the water surface now. Just using craft paint just so it's not going to drag and be impossible to, to get a decent body of water up there. So there we go. Get it all mapped in. There we go. No ridges of paint anywhere. It's going to be beautiful. I've got some phalo blue and I've got some grey here because the phalo blue is darker than my normal cerulean blue that I use. And I want to make that really dark nighttime grey kind of watercolour there. So we'll just get this from the bottom. Now that is a bit too blue, but I'm going to have to darken that up. That's fine. Go all the way to my masking tape there. So I put the tape there. I can just paint this without, without having any headaches. So I'll stroke it left and right. There we go. Now I want that a little bit darker. I've just got some black there. Now let's see what this does to the mix. Oh yeah, not too much of that, but that's sort of what I'm going for. So I'll get that in there as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. It's that dark grey blue sort of colour that I'm looking for. I do feel it needs more darker over here because I don't want this too loud of a colour. So I'm getting more of that black probably from the edges <laughs> pulling it into the middle there nice and dark pull it through there we go now grabbing some titanium white and let's say a little bit of this orangey color just so it's not a pure white yeah it's pretty good get some of that one on there as well so pretty much in a straight line from there. Like that. I've cleaned my uh, putter on a brush and I'm just going to use it to gently waterfy that reflection. I don't want any line there. Now grabbing my toothbrush, I've got some water down here. I'm going to get it wet and then I'm going to start incorporating it into that paint so it's nice and flickable. And I want to pretty much flick me shimmer all the way there. I'm covering up that line and it can come out here and there if you want there. 
beautiful. We could probably get some more, just iridescently, not too many, over here, just something there, coming from there. Nicely done. Okay, we'll take all these tapes off. It's always good to see the tape come off in the day. There we go, look at that, we've got a nice bank of land coming across there. And it's gonna be easy to apply because we're not gonna have any thick paint under it balking us. I do have a white line there, so I've just got a little bit of that paint. Hopefully it doesn't make it a dark line. Just to see if I can here we go. Now I'm grabbing burn umber. And I'm going to map in these headland bits of ground out here, okay. I'm starting sharp. I want the bottom sharp against the water there. Cover up all your white line. And then you can make the top half rocky whatever I'm just going to grab my stick so as I don't get any of this in the water I can control my hard line there with confidence and down here coming around ok let's do that bit there again. Look at that once it's dry. It works beautiful with acrylics like that, eh? Okay. And we'll get all this where I get some more paint on my brush. This can be all rocky and jagged as well. It doesn't have to be a nice factory straight line. And then we'll just block all this in. I've got some of that black over here that I mix with the phalo blue. Get some of that, half of that, this half here. There we go, just black you like that colour. And we'll get some, um, oh yeah, nice dark depthing details in here. I want that nice and sharp there. I'm gradually, because I'm mucking with it, it's going thicker and thicker. But yeah. All right, just on this end of this groin here, where the inlet is, we'll put a silhouette of a lighthouse. Just something cucumberously cool looking. that is that looking reasonable I don't know I don't think they have aerials on them but I'm gonna put one there anyway just for subject matter who knows we might want to put some little little dots there and coming bigger Now I'm just going to autograph this down here and make sure you check out my links in the description below and just see exactly all my traceables, all my videos in my YouTube channel, 
my art for sale, my art group, request to become a member there. Message me on Facebook if you want to grab any of the blending brushes that I use. Message me on Facebook for that. And also if you want to buy a painting, just message me as well. And if the paintings are sold, there's prints available as well. So we'll whack a frame on this now, just see how she looks. That was a quick, easy subject, wasn't it, eh? Well, not a subject, but yeah, there we go. It's a Jaffa Sunrise or Jaffa Sunset. It's got those Jaffery colours in it, okay? Quite simple and effective, and it looks like a piece of art on the wall, doesn't it, eh? And just remember, you can do that. All right, and as you can see from a distance there, it doesn't look too bad in a frame, does it? Something you can achieve, okay? And if you think you can't, it's just your inner self telling you, you know what, I just need a bit of practice. And the more determined you are and the practicing you put into it, you can do anything you want. All right, so you make sure you tell your friends if you like what you see here on my channel. But if you don't like it, you tell everybody, okay? Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.